I'm going to show you how you can use the enforce feature and the block inheritance feature of group policy. So I'm currently in my group policy management for my Active Directory domain. And if we drill down to one of my OUs, for instance, this workstations OU, we can see that it has a workstation security GPO applied to it. And it also has two OUs within it, which is a Windows 10 OU and a Windows 11 OU. And each of those have their own GPO applied. Now, if we come to our Windows 10 OU, for example, and then come to Group Policy Inheritance, we can see that it's got its own Windows 10 settings GPO applied, but it's also inheriting GPOs from further up the tree, such as the Workstation Security from the Workstations OU, and the default domain policy that is applied to the domain. Now, if we don't want these policies to be applied to this specific OU, what we can do is right-click and block inheritance, and then now any inherited group policy objects are no longer applied and only the GPOs that are applied directly to this OU will get applied. Now let's say we've got a security GPO which we want to essentially force apply to every OU that is under it. What we can do is right click the GPO and press enforced. Now what that's done is enforce this default domain policy GPO and if we refresh we can see that it's now enforced and it is being applied to this Windows 10 OU, even though block inheritance is enabled. Now there is something to bear in mind when you are enforcing a GPO, especially one that's further up the tree. Now if I just disable the block inheritance and then refresh, now we can see that the order has changed slightly. So the precedence where is that it basically applies it from highest to lowest. So the group policies will apply the workstation security first, then it will apply the Windows 10 settings, and then it will apply the default domain policy. Now, because this is enforced, if I just enforce this workstation security GPO and then refresh, it's now bumped that up. So if I unenforce it, it will put it back to the bottom. The same with the default domain policy. If I unenforce that, it will put it back down to the bottom. So what you need to bear in mind is if you are overriding a block inheritance by enforcing a GPO, it can change the precedence and you may get unexpected behavior because the order in which the GPOs are applied has been changed. So that's just something to bear in mind if you are blocking inheritance and enforcing group policy objects.